Hi everyone, this is your math guru. Today we are going to learn the cosine rule. Please don't forget to subscribe below for more easy to understand math concepts. When do you apply the cosine rule? If you have a triangle, first you need to check if it is a right angle triangle or not. If it is a right angle triangle, then you are going to be applying the Pythagoras theorem or the trigonometric function Sokatoa. If it's not a right angle triangle or your answer is no, then you're going to be applying the, the sine rule or the cosine rule. For this video, we are going to be discussing the cosine rule. Let's look at the following examples. If I have a triangle ABC, let's talk, let's use the first triangle for our rules. And the angles are labeled ABC. Let's label the sides. The side facing your angle A is your small A. The side facing your angle B is your small B. And the third side is your side C. The cosine rule states that the side facing your angle, which is your A squared, equals the sum of the square of the other two sides we have b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a also if the angle is at b then we're going to have b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b or the last formula if the angle is at c we're going to have c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. You can see that there are three forms of the cosine rule. The one to use is determined by what is given or what is asked. The side you start with in the cosine rule is opposite the angle you will use in the rule. And that's why the value or the side changes depending on the angle given. Let's take a look at the other triangle. If I have a triangle X, Y, Z, and I have my angle at X, let's label the sides to make it easy. The side facing your Z angle is your small Z. The Y angle is your small Y. And the X or the theta will be your X. The cosine rule states that starting from the side facing your angle, we are going to have X squared equals Y squared plus z squared minus 2yz cos x. Likewise, we can have the formula for y squared and the formula for z squared. Note that the letters in the formula are just placeholders, depending on what uh, alphabet is being used for our triangle. Let's look at the application below. If I have a triangle ABC with sides AB, giving us 10 units, side AC, 14 units, and the angle at A, 125 degrees. Let's start by labeling, the question says calculate BC. Let's start by labeling a side. The side facing B, let's call it a small B, the side facing A, a small A, and the side facing C, a small C. The cosine rule states that, remember we start from the side facing our angle, A squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Putting in the parameters, we have a squared equals 14 squared plus 10 squared minus, I'm going to use a bracket because of the negative sign, 2 times b, which is 14 times 10, cos 125 degrees. Please make sure your calculator is in the degrees mode. You're going to have a squared equals 196 plus 100 minus in bracket. The value you have there in the bracket is going to give you minus 860.6. If we put that in, we're going to have A squared equals 456.6. And to find A, you find the square root of both sides for 56.6. Therefore, our A, which is also our BC, is going to be 21. 37 units to do decimal place. Let's look at another application below. 
In the second example, we have a triangle XYZ with sides XY to be 7, YZ to be 8, and XZ to be 12. The question says, find angle theta. Going by our cosine rule, remember we start from the side facing your angle. Let's label the sides. The side facing X will be our small x, the side facing Z, small z, and the last side is our small y. The formula says y squared equals, we are starting, remember we are starting with the side facing the angle. We have x squared plus z squared minus 2 times x times z cos y. Filling in our parameters, we are going to have 12 squared equals 8 squared plus 7 squared in brackets. I'm going to use a bracket because of my minus sign. 2 times x, which is 8, times 7, cos y. Remember, our y is an unknown, so I'm going to replace this with my theta. If I solve this, I'm going to have 144 equals 64 plus 49 minus 112 cos theta. If I take the all numbers or the constant to the other side, remember it's going to be a minus. I'm going to have 144 minus 64 minus 49 equals, I'm left with minus 112 cos theta. That will give me 31 equals minus 112 cos theta. If I continue on this side, I'm going to have, let me write this out here, minus 112 cos theta equals to 31. Divide both sides by minus 112. Whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. This cancels. You're left with cos theta equals in bracket. Okay, let me write it without the brackets. I'm going to have cos theta equals minus 0, 2768. To find theta, I'm going to find the arc cos of each side, which is going to give me cos minus 1. To find that on your calculator, it's going to be the second function of your cos button. And that will give me theta equals 106.07 degrees to two decimal place. Let's try out the following challenge question. On the first challenge question, I have a triangle ABC with sides 15, 12, and 20. You have to find theta. On the second challenge question, you have a triangle XYZ with sides XY to be B, XZ to be 13, YZ to be 10, and we're giving angle Z as 50 degrees. You can pause the video to try it out yourself. For the first one, you're going to have theta equals 48,35 degrees to two decimal places. And for the second one, you are going to have x, y, which is also equal to your side b, to be 10,09 units to two decimal places. Thanks for watching. Bye.